Meteorologist Andrew Shipley joining us once again. Andrew, I think you described it perfectly when you said it was crisp out there. Yeah, that's a good way to describe yeah. it. It just feels clean when you breathe it in. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the humidity and all that other stuff in it. Uh, but it is a nice night. Uh, take a look outside DHR camera in Edinburgh. We're looking at still mostly cloudy skies at this hour. I think it's going to stay with us uh, here tonight in towards uh, tomorrow. But the front is now way south of the valley. And I think we're pretty much done with any rain chances uh, here tonight uh, for us, though. Uh, I can't rule it out. Uh, maybe along the coast, see a little bit of a sprinkle here and there, but that's about it. So, but we got a good dose of rain today in Brownsville. Re record rainfall in, in Brownsville, breaking 133-year-old uh, daily record. Also, Harlingen and McAllen, anywhere from a quarter to a half inch, and uh, some spots even more than that. Uh, but uh, temperature-wise, though, at this hour, 59 degrees in Harlingen, 61 in Brownsville, 60 in McAllen, as well as 61 out in Rio Grande City at this hour. We're going to get down about 50 57 degrees valley average temperature then again a few showers possible I think most of that's going to be right along the coastline uh, for you but uh, really I'm not expecting a whole lot uh, in terms of rain here overnight but uh, seven o'clock in the morning still looking at mostly cloudy skies as you get in towards noontime starting to try to clear out I think it's not going to be until the afternoon hours are getting back to partly uh, cloudy skies but that's going to be a big factor in terms of our temperatures how quickly do the clouds move out if they move out a little quicker we'll be a little bit warmer if they move out Later in the day, we'll be a little bit cooler in terms of those temperatures. Eventually, though, we will clear out. Uh, in terms of temperatures, though, I got uh, 72 degrees tomorrow in Harlingen, 73 Brownsville, 70 in McAllen, uh, Edinburgh, West the Cove, where even 70 out in Rio Grande City. Normal temperature this time of year, 78 degrees. So, yeah, below normal temperatures for you. Also looking at north winds 15 to 20 miles an hour. So it's still going to feel pretty cool out there tomorrow. You're probably going to want a hoodie if you're going to be out and about. Now, in terms of the island tomorrow, we could again see a few coastal showers in the morning hours. That's why I got a 30% chance of rain there. Otherwise, 72 degrees. Gulf temperature 75, but you're not going to really want to be in it. Five to six foot swells as well as that high rip current to risk. Now, the weekend, not bad on the island. You're looking at 77 on Saturday, 78 on Sunday. We're looking at temperatures in the 80s. Sunny skies Saturday. Sunny to start the day on Sunday. More clouds as you get in towards the afternoon. That's going to be because our next frontal boundary is going to be moving in on Sunday night into Monday morning. There it is on Futurecast. And with that, another round of rain. We've got a 50% chance of rain Sunday night, 40% chance of rain on Monday. And with that, cooler temperatures move back in. Monday back down in the 70s for you. And then we'll gl gradually climb the ladder back into the lower 80s Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday being Thanksgiving. Uh, and it's going to be our next chance of rain. So we've got rain on Sunday into Monday with the next front. Rain on Thursday and Friday uh, with our next system moving in uh, with that as well. So let's talk about it here. Thanksgiving itself, 82 degrees, scattered showers and storms, cold front arriving late in the day. And this is going to be a pretty significant frontal boundary. Let's take a look at it in future cast. Uh, you get the warm front moving through Thursday morning, 9 o'clock. Again, rain especially heavy to the north of the valley. Then the low pressure system moves across the state with that. So looking at uh, late Thursday night, Friday morning, cold front moves through, and then that pushes on out. Look what it leaves behind next Saturday. Uh, not this coming weekend, the following weekend. 60s, 60s for highs. So, uh, again, some big changes on the way towards the end of the forecast period, but really this is just that roller coaster, that up and down. We get cool today, cool tomorrow, warm up a little bit into the weekend, then cool down again, and then uh, right back into that next storm system there in time for the Turkey Day. But, you know, with that said, showers, storms, Turkey Day, it means time inside with a family not to worry about that but also you got that muddy uh, football game if you want to go uh, you know place a little picks again yeah people always knock the rain and the mud with mm -hmm. the football but I always love that that's the best type of game They're there a little is dirty but uh, your mom hates you when she has to wash the clothes but yeah you know. that's true well my mom <laughs> will let me in the house anyway so it's okay <laughs>